Hi and welcome! <laughs> and as you could see from the so thumbnail, already I'm done with my homemade socks! Um, that took me, I think, about 10 hours <laughs> to knit these socks. I'm totally amazed that they turned out to be socks, really, because while I was knitting, I wasn't too sure. Um, I got my instructions from a German and socks knitting video and uh, I just followed the instructions and then there were these socks. <laughs> I did not do a perfect job, of course, because uh, sometimes I did not really understand what the teacher was trying to teach me. For example, I got the, the pattern <laughs> that's supposed to not be on the bottom of the sock. It's on top of the socks. I got that on the first one I knitted also at the bottom and that wasn't supposed to be so. Also, there's some holes in there that are a little larger than others and uh, other than that, <laughs> I, got, I, I can make socks. That's amazing. Um, I told you, I suppose, that I learned knitting as a child but uh, that was just basic stuff. Uh, socks are supposed to be pretty hard, so I did not know how to do that. I have an aunt who can do that, but nobody ever taught me that, except for that DIY video. So, yeah, I made these out of wool I found at my parents' house and with uh, needles that I got off eBay for one euro. And since uh, <laughs> it took me like 10 hours to do these, and at the university clinic I earn about uh, 14 hours and 15 cents uh, an hour 15, 15 euros and 15 Euro, 14 euros and 15 cents an hour these are basically 140 dollar socks but this was not about frugality or saving money or anything like that it was about personal development and I told you before that I got the idea from knitting my own socks because I read a, a book by um, Jacob Lund Fisker which is called Early Retirement Extreme and he has this idea of becoming a renaissance person and uh, that you should be able to make stuff yourself so you don't have to buy everything that you need you can make it yourself and you don't have to pay for everything for either services or products or whatever and uh, since I did could not find the socks that I wanted on sale anywhere I just had to make, it, make them myself so that's how that came about so now um, yeah I actually know, learned something I feel like a more, more developed person I could if I wanted to knit my own socks everywhere uh, Jacob claims that if you learn something once and you put some effort into that once you can profit off of that for the rest of your life basically so I taught myself how to knit socks and I will never have, a, have to learn that again uh, and I'm already working on my second pair because <laughs> it was so much fun but we'll talk about that later um, I'm already working on my second pair uh, and it's already going a lot faster so um, the reason why I did this was so I could choose my own material, the material I really wanted. Usually there's lots of different um, materials in one pair of fashion, whatever it is. Um, and you might not want that. You might not want some um, stretch fiber mixed up with your cotton that you really want. Uh, so that's how this came about. But also, of course, if you make something yourself, there's no um, cheap labor involved. Like in China or India or wherever, people are forced to produce our Western world's large, uh, fast, fast fashion. Um, I know that I was treated well <laughs> in knitting those socks. Uh, I was paid proper, properly with fun doing that because it was really it, it was a lot of fun um, I, 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 it was whenever I got bored of studying I just knitted one or two more lines in my socks and uh, I <laughs> kind of regenerated doing that so um, you can create a new hobby if you, you do that if you like that you have to give yourself some some spare time of course and it's hard to to really allow yourself to do that because 
Well, of course, in every hour that I've been knitting, I could have earned money. But that would have been boring. And money's not everything. That's what this is about. And then the other thing, of course, um, if ever the, the apocalypse comes, you will be able to make your own stuff. Wherever you are in the world, if you know how to do this. So, um, not always being dependent on buying stuff is a good idea. Something that uh, actually in, can, can enlarge your own private micro universe. So, that's what I did. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you feel inspired to do something yourself. Uh, make something yourself, rather. So, let's go to my groceries and afterwards to my trash. It's Monday. These are my groceries for today. They are supposed to last for two more days. Uh, and this is cabbage, bananas, pepper, zucchini, onions, orange, uh, carrots. Carrots? I already said that, didn't I? Um, apples. And... Uh, some of it I got from the discounter and some of it I got from the regular supermarket. And that's it for today. It's Thursday and I went to the discounter once again to get bananas, cucumber, oranges, pears, um, pepper and onions. And uh, with the cucumbers that's weird there. Yeah. Because sometimes they have them packed in plastic and sometimes they don't. This time I got lucky. Unpackaged. That's it. It's still Thursday, I went to the unpackaged store and to the food sharing closet where I got some uh, peppermint tea. Yeah. The rest is from the um, unpackaged store. Uh, I got some curry powder, uh, textured vegetable protein and Brazil nuts. And that's it for today. It's Friday and these are my groceries for today. That's cabbage and um, carrots. And that's it. And this is my trash this week. That was pretty good. That's bandage from the plasma donation, two windows of envelopes, and uh, stickers from fruits and vegetables. That's it. So, and just in case you're one of those people that want to actually make something themselves, but are afraid that it's not going to turn out great or good or anything, um, I have a <laughs> reading advice for you, which is... Um, Julia Cameron's book, The Artist's Way. It's about how to overcome a an artist's block, really. Or it's, the word writer's block is familiar, but that, of course, applies to all other artists, too. And uh, um, knitting is an art as well, I think. Uh, anything you make with your hands is basically art. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> Julia Cameron originally was a um what's it called a script writer a script writer in hollywood and uh she said that um first time filmmakers usually don't compare their first film with george lucas's first film but they compare it with uh star wars and comparing your first film to star wars is of course makes you feel like a loser and uh if you compare your first socks to i don't know <laughs> some some professional socks, sock makers socks, uh, you can also fail or feel like a failure, which you of course are not to be perfect. It takes practice. You have to do that over and over and over again to become uh, a professional. So yeah, I don't mind that those socks are not perfect. They are mine. I made them. <laughs> I put my love and uh, labor into them and that's perfectly fine. Uh, and I don't care what other people think anyhow. So that's it for this week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, please subscribe. I'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye bye.